Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the results of my GoFest for both days. Well technically it still has a couple more hours for us here in Anchorage but I'm uh, going to cut it off a little early here and uh, bring you the video and then compile everything and I'm going to tell you it was pretty good for me. Now first day I was having to stay in the house. I pulled a muscle. I'm feeling a little bit better. I was able to go drive around today at least so I did that. I uh, got some more shinies but while I was home I got a good amount, but I did a ton of remote raiding. Now we're going to be taking a look at me maxing out another Necrozma for the Dusk main. I also have the Dawn Wings maxed out too. So you can fuse, if you have two separate Necrozmas, you can make them both, right? It's not like, oh, well, you got to unfuse this one first. Well, if you want to use that same Necrozma, then yes. But if you have a separate one, you can have both. I'm going to show you in a second. So we, <laughs> we went really hard. I was thinking about, oh, what if we get the shadow in the future? It's like, okay, we'll forget about that. That's going to be in like, what, four years? Maybe if we even get it then. Uh, also, the marsh shadow stats and uh, catching that. Um, but with that said, let's go ahead and see and take a look at my shinies, 100s, and everything in between. I'm going to make this short and sweet after yapping for a minute here. So we'll go ahead and start this video right about now. All right, so... This is going to be my original Necrozma, my first fusion that I'm going to be doing here. Received a ton of remote raid invites from people that had it uh, earlier before us, so I was able to go into the next day ready and uh, charged up with this. Uh, this thing is a beast, okay? And it looks really cool when you register it too like that. So I also had Mega Gengar. So this, as well as Mega Gengar, on a team together to go up against both of these Necrozma raids. Ooh, it was amazing. So of course we're going to have that uh, Moon Guys beam, which is going to be amazing here. And we're going to go ahead and equip it, and the thing is awesome. All right, and we're also going to be taking a look at my Soul Galeo that I did collect with the new background. And when I did get my other hundred Necrozma, we're going to look at that. When you fuse two backgrounds together, oh, it is freaking fire. But for now, let's go ahead and catch this Marsh Shadow here. I love this cutscene; it's pretty funny. They didn't add any special music or anything, unless mine was broken. Uh, I thought that was pretty interesting. I didn't mind that at all. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Treating it a little bit more casual. Nice. Um, so I was pretty excited for this. Now, I did say on Twitter, waste of $15. Was it technically? No, because you did get a bunch of stuff leading up to this. So, uh, you know, with all those rewards, at $15, I don't know, a little steep. But look at that. Wow. So we got a 10, 11, uh, 10, was that? Or 11? I mean, come on. Seriously? We'll look at that here again in a minute. Pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad, but I did get this Espeon with a Scarf. Now this did come out of a task, so it is going to have decent IVs. We'll look at that here in a minute. And then here's the Sol Galeo catch screen. We're not gonna look at the IVs quite yet, but I'm just gonna tell you, they're pretty much the same as the Marsh Shadows. L quite literally, yeah, 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 yeah. But it doesn't really matter because guess what? I already have a 15, 15, 14 or 11 Sol Galeo powered up. Not all the way, but powered up decently. Um, as far as this one is concerned, the only reason why I wanted it is so I can have the awesome background fused together here. So when I put the background from the Necrozma with this Sokaleo's background, actually they merge together. So you'll see that in a minute. Taking a look at my shinies, 18 in total. I just caught this ducklet here. I'm happy. I wanted this one. I wanted the pink duck, okay? I wanted the pink duck. All right, so we do have that PvP IVs. Let's freaking go. And then there is the Espeon with its IVs as well. I will be holding on to that for sure. And I did get myself a shiny Umbreon with the scarf too. That was wild caught as you can see by the IVs. And then I got a garbage wingle, I'll probably transfer that. And then a Lunatone, all right. And then the Pikachu with the whole crown. There's gonna be a female with the moon one. And we did get an Emolga with great IVs. That was a wild catch. We did get a Goldurk, well it was its other stage, I just evolved it because whatever. Uh, PvP IVs for the Ultra League looking pretty good. An extra extra small Stunfisk Shiny. And I caught this one and the Goldurk back to backwards pre-evolution, pretty crazy. L quite literally at, the, uh, at a stop sign. Uh, we do have an Esper. I think I didn't even have one of those, so that's a new to the list. Nothing I was particularly looking for, but sure, I'll take it. Then we do have the two shiny Necrozma. I think I may have three. Uh, this was going to be the first day, so the Inke, the uh, Volbe, uh, were all caught at my house, as well as this shiny PvP IV Mudkip. Okay, I don't think I'm going to power it up for the Ultra League, but okay. And I got the Zergatree shiny. That's all I really wanted. Uh, and then we did get the Helia locks or whatever, how <laughs> I was horrible with that stupid thing's name. Uh, and then another Necrozma, so we did get three of those, okay? 
Uh, all right, now let's go ahead and look at that Soul Galeo. There's the background there for you. And yeah, it's even worse than the Marsh Shadow. So it's going to be a 10, 12, 11. Yikes. But it doesn't matter because the Ivies from the Necrozma are going to be the ones transferring over into that one. So we'll be looking uh, good there. And we're going to go ahead and uh, actually kind of do this right now, I do believe. So I was on the fence. I was like, do I really want to? Do I really want to do this? Nah, we rated so hard for the extra XL candies. Might as well have both of them on hand. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I don't need this Soul Galeo for nothing. Plus, I wanted to see that background. So let's go ahead right now and see what it looks like when you have both the uh, Ultra Beast wormhole as well as the Soul Galeo background together here. Let's go ahead and do that right about now. So this will be the first time I do register this one myself here. And they both look amazing. I, I really don't. I, if I had to pick a preference in the looks, I think this one looks better, I, to be honest with you. But they're both, they've got their own style. Uh, but I do like the Duskmane look a little bit better. All right, so there you go. Look at that background. Look at that. Both of them merged together there. So pretty awesome stuff. I can't believe I got 100 Necrozma with the background. Uh, hey, we're, it's worth it. Let's get it. Let's go. And I was thinking, damn it. But then wait, oh, I can fuse it with this one. So it's perfectly worth it. And you get both of them at the same time. So I do have the uh, Dawn Wings as well as the uh, Dusk Mane too. So for as far as the 100s are concerned, uh, I was able to get the Necrozma with the background and then this uh, Ferramosa. <laughs> and that's all for the 100s there. And then you saw I had 18 Shinies. So I was just really going hard, particularly on those uh, raids. Uh, that's pretty much it. I went out there and grinded for a total of probably like maybe two and a half hours. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Otherwise, I was just doing remote raids again because I did pull a muscle. So I was kind of taking it easy. When you do that, you don't really want to move around too much to screw it up even more. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, as far as this Marsh Shadow, was it worth the $15? Obviously not for that, but everything in between there, all the little, you know, tasks and stuff. Uh, you know, I guess it is, I suppose. Not, too, not Maybe not $15, but... Uh, I had a personally, I had a good go fest. It was fun for me. Now, did we max out that thing yet? Let me see. And then I'm going to tell you like things that can change and the things I would like to see uh, in future events like this. Uh, but first, we're going to go ahead and actually get to that necrosma. Yeah, we're going to we're going to invest in this right about now. I just decided let's just pull the trigger, whatever. What, I mean, this is like literally the best steel type in the game. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Unfortunately, you can't use both of them at the same time in Go Battle League because they are still technically a Necrozma. So that's a little unfortunate. But hey, at least we have one of these maxed out. Now I just need to work on getting it to Best Buddy. As far as using those adventure effects, again, I, I'm not even concerned with that because they are really not that good. Unless there's like a new Pokemon or something like that that came out and it was nighttime or daytime and I needed to get it now and they needed a particular time to evolve, then I would use that then. But otherwise, I will go have some fun with it to test it out, but I don't feel like it's urgent to bring it up. All right, now taking a look at a duo here, this is going to be uh, before the fact that I did make the uh, Dusk main. So it's not going to be on the team, but the Gengar is. So my final thoughts here, something that I would like to see, as much as I love the unlimited remote raids, I really would love to see them lower the price on that uh, when they do these kind of events. Uh, you know, just a little bit. I'm not going to be like, oh, stupid, antic, uh, greedy. You know, that's the price they have, but I would like to see that personally, and that would be great. Uh, otherwise... There was a little bit of an issue. I don't know if this is like a request to change next time, but I guess problems just do arise. But I was in the raids and it looked like there was there was more people there than there should be. Then like it basically bring over the people that I saw from the last raid into that lobby, but I could only see them that were not technically there. And you have to see at the bottom when it says uh, who's ready, because if you have like four people in there, then I'll show four, four of, you know, out of so many people said, okay, ready to go. So you'll see 17, but then it'll only say like seven or five people are in there because, you know, it's glitching out. Uh, that wasn't a big deal. At first I was really confused. I was like, what the hell is, these lobbies are all full. And then I get into the raid and it's like, why are we, why are we barely getting to the halfway mark with its health, with the timer and everything? I'm like, something freaking weird is going on here. And then I started to realize, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's glitching. Okay, I didn't look around anywhere else. I just kind of figured it out myself. Uh, but otherwise, I'm sure you all have some gripes. I don't know. Personally, it was kind of fine. You know, I, it is what it is. It's a GoFest event. If you got out there and had some fun, great. I personally think the raids were awesome. 
uh, at least the options that we did have. And this whole Duskmane and uh, Dawn Wings is a very, I'm gonna tell you straight up, I'm gonna be completely honest with you here. This is a pay to win Pokemon, okay? This is a pay to win Pokemon. Okay, so you need all this energy, right? You get like 180 to, to 110 to 120 per defeat, okay? You need a thousand. Say you had gotten the two codes, that's 200. So now you still need to do another, what, eight raids to actually get enough energy to beat this thing. So that, that's pretty much the video there. Uh, or to um, fuse it up, right? So it, it does require, but what about the free raid passes? Uh, yeah, that, that was on the line there. Yeah. Uh, that, that will like require you to like only have one. So you still need the other energy for the other form. So definitely a pay to win thing. You could say, well, technically hold on there, Pope. Everything is pay to win pretty much, or at least the legendaries. And this is true, but I wouldn't say that there's such an urgency to raid them as much as these legendaries or as much as these, uh, these fusion Pokemon here because we're, we're limited for one day. All right, once they're gone, they're out of here. And if you don't have the energy, well, forget it. You're not going to be able to get any more energy to actually make this happen. No, of course, they're going to be bringing them back, I would assume, one day. So you can do that because that would be absolutely insane. But you see where I'm going at? A little bit of a, you get better raid more. You better raid some more. I guess that can be a gripe. They're really... Uh, really trying to abstract that here from us so a re reduction in the remote rate prices the lobbies that were kind of broken not too big of a deal this pay to win thing i wish we can get more energy per parade defeat for these uh fusion pokemon like i don't know 200 per you know win that would be freaking amazing that would help a lot of people out but uh, i did go hard i spent quite a bit of money and well, there you go. Was it worth it? Well, it is my job at the end of the day. If I was an average person playing this and I had a little bit of a disposal income to waste on this game or to invest, I should say, if it was my hobby and I actually like playing it all the time, I would, yeah, I would still play. I'd pre, you know, I'd max get one of these maxed out. Not two. No, hell no. Uh, I would just unfuse the one and then just go with the other one. That you, That's an option too. So don't worry. It's not too big of a deal. You don't need do level 50 necrozmas to fuse, right? You can unfuse the one, go into the other, but there is that option. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna have to say it was it was pretty okay. It was pretty all right. I enjoyed it personally myself. Got a little ripped off on the Marsh Shadow and uh, spent a little too much on remote raid passes, but I had fun with people who invited me. And uh, well, now I have some awesome Pokemon on my team now. And the shiny rate, I never really care about that, to be honest with you. I think it was pretty okay for me for the amount of grinding that I did do. But hey, folks, if you did enjoy this video and you did have a good go fest, or if you didn't have a good go fest, make sure you hit that like button. It really does help me out. Subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on, and I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.